welcome back guys so um this is the series where i'm learning programming with code academy i'm learning programming uh python 3 as um yes it's as a skill i'm picking up quite late i'm 44 years of age will i succeed let me know down in the comment section i don't think one is ever too old but i also like the uh, the platform on which i'm learning code academy it's sort of an online education platform and i've signed up for um, python 3 i'm quite happy about it i have tried my hands in programming um or i was already a doctor much much later in life uh, but i didn't go far with it so it's a dream i've had uh, sort of bucket list stuff and i'm hoping to succeed link is in the description if you want to uh, learn uh, with code academy i highly recommend it previously i tried youtube videos i'd gotten some wonderful <clears throat> can i say um, website for learning java not uh, python and i think i read the first 10 pages or so and uh, uh yeah so this i think is the first i've gone in my programming course so without much ado as um fisayo would say uh let's uh, get into it Yeah, uh, of course, I'm using our uh, main channel, Raising Chess Champions in Africa. Uh, that's our logo right there. That's Good Academy, and that's the course that we're doing, Python 3. So what is my status right now? Uh, my progress so far, 23%. I'll probably do the first um, programs I did. And uh, right now I'm doing the third, I think the third, probably the third, um, I think, can I say chapter or something of that nature? I'm 37% done. It gives you this uh, kind of um, progress. Syllabus I've done, hello world, I've done control flow. And I'm on the third one, which is list. How many days have I done? I've done four days, but I'm doing extensive hours right now. It's uh, 1 a.m. in Kenya, and I'm quite excited about this. So this is why I'll continue doing it. So yeah, without further ado, Fisayo, um, the Nigerian guy who does fantastic videos i'm copying him so bear with me great so uh, this is study for me i'm not the best at multitasking uh, so if i ignore you a little bit um, bear with me a little bit as well okay so if you missed the first thing we did yesterday you'll find it somewhere under the live videos and i'll probably also just change it make lists on youtube and so on okay consecutive list range often you want to create a list of consecutive numbers so on this column you get the instructions then you get to um, do the exercises here probably finish because it's some tasks you're meant to complete and uh, you actually write the code here that's why i like uh, code academy because i don't have to open a new window uh, try and install many things it actually emulates everything you're doing on python here and actually mark it you'll see that as you go along and this is a terminal terminal is sort of like the display uh, if i were to say for example um okay i think the first thing the last thing to do is to run this so when i run it it will probably print number list uh, so let's run i think that will be the first thing and you can see it's printing out something zero one two three uh, I, th I think um what you're looking at here is a method a method is sort of um um, a, a method is sort of an inbuilt set of instructions that have been put into one item. Uh, I think like when you talk about range, uh, there are these brackets inside the bracket you give what are called parameters. Parameters are sort of uh, the data that the, 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 can I say the, the method needs to work. Uh, you have to give it some information. Sometimes you don't need to, but in this case, I think range requires. And what it then does is that it um, it gives you a result. This is um, uh, whenever you have an, a single equal sign, it's an assignment statement, meaning that this thing called number list is a variable. If you don't understand coding, that's fine. I'm, I also didn't understand it much, so uh, that's how easy it is. So let's get through. I'm not uh, doing a tutorial per se, just uh, walking the journey, documenting it. Uh, be with us, and uh, maybe you can also uh, read along. Okay, often you want to create a list, of consecutive numbers in our programs for example suppose you want a list containing the number zero uh, through nine okay that's what they have here typing out all those numbers takes time okay and the more numbers we type the more likely it is that we have a typo that can cause an error true 
Python gives us an easy way of creating these types of lists using a built-in function called range. The function range takes a single input and generates numbers starting at zero and ending at, ending at the number before the input, okay? So if you want at the number zero through nine, we use, a, we use range 10 because 10 is greater, one greater than nine, makes sense. Therefore, uh, my range is equal to range, the parameter being 10, print my range will give us zero to um, zero, I think one, two, three, up to nine, right? Hmm. Wait, I'm, I'm, I don't think, from what I've understood, let's, repair, let's take that once again, because I was expecting the range function takes a single input and generates numbers starting at zero and ending at the number before the input. Okay, so the number of the input in this case is 10. My range is equals to range in brackets 10. The number before the range would be 9 and therefore print my range would output 0, 1, 2. Okay, let's just try this out. Okay, let's just uh, enter it. I don't think that's what we are supposed to do. Let me just check. Uh, let's enter my range. Let's just do the exact same thing. Is equals to range and uh, we give it 10 and then we're going to print my range. Uh, so print is another method and I'm just going to print this, uh, uh, can I say, a variable I've created. It could be any variable really. So let me run it. Hmm, that's strange. Okay, number list is equals to range three. Print list number list. Ah, uh, okay. Let's do something here. Let's see. List. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I have taken a shortcut in learning this, but that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so uh, what I discovered just by looking at the previous method that was here before I started uh, running, and you can see I'm getting something wrong here because I'm doing my own things, so I'm not following the instructions yet, which I will do in a short while. It has print, and then there's another method inside the print method, which is list, number list. So list, it is going to list all the items under that number list. And maybe just to give you an idea, uh, let's just rename this from range and just give it example for YouTube and just rename it. We're gonna print example. So it basically whatever variable name you give, example, it will go ahead and do it. Let's run that. And you can see in the terminal it's running the exact same thing. If I make a typo here, uh, I know it will, throw, it will throw an error or something. Yeah, of course, because um, they, they have put double E, there's no such variable. So let's run that. Okay, I think I've understood basically the concept. Now let me go back and read what is being said. Okay, notice something different. Range function is a unique is unique in that it creates a range object. It is not a typical list like the ones we've been working with. In order to use this uh, object as a list, we have to first convert it using another built-in function called list, okay. The list function takes in a single input for the object we want to convert. We use the list function on a range object like this. Print list my range. We don't put all the numbers. Let's try using range. Okay. Modify number list so that it is a range containing numbers starting zero and up to nine, up to, but not including nine. So modify number list so that it is a range. Okay, let's just delete everything else you've done here. Yeah. Um, so modify number list so that it is a range containing numbers starting zero up to, but not including nine. Okay, so that range should just be, change this to nine. Okay, let's run that. Yep, and that's the 
answer that was being checked. You see, I was getting some wrongs there because I just did a run. If I do a run here, it will just give me that. So that's already done. So I get a check every time I get it right. Okay. So create a range called 0 to 7 uh, with the number 0 through 7. Print the result in list form. Okay. So we want to create a new range called 0 to 7. So 0 to 7 is a variable. Um, to Wait, did I write? Is that an O? Yeah. Hmm. 0 to 7. Assign it a value. And uh, this is going to be a range. And the range is 0 through 7. With the numbers, create a range with the numbers 0 through 7. Print the results. Okay, so maybe let's do 8. I don't know that's the answer they're looking for. I'm going to copy this so I don't have to keep typing it. And then enter. And we're going to print, setting the parameters, print. Uh, but you're supposed to print it in list form. Okay, so what you must then do is list. And then at the end of that, add another bracket. So this is just uh, syntax, I think. Let's run that. Yep, so it's printed 0, 1 to 7. Uh, for you to do that, you have to put 8 because it doesn't count 8, it counts the okay, the eight, 8 digits altogether. So I think that's pretty much what they meant. Okay. <coughs> so that's been done. You can go to the next point. The power of range. By default, range creates a list starting at 0. However, if you recall range with two inputs, you can put a list that starts at a different number. Okay, so fine. For example, range 2, 9 would generate number starting at 2 and ending at 8. So 2 would be number 1 and uh, just before 9. Okay. So my list is equal to range 2, 9. Print my list with print numbers, I think, 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Wait, 2. Why would that be the case? Hmm. So it's not like index, index 0, index 1 would be 0, index 2 would be 1, but this is okay, fine. Starting at 2 and ending just before 9. Okay, understood. That's a bit confusing and quite different from what you use in index, because what I mean is in uh, Python index 1 would be the number 0, 2 would be the number 1, and so on. So I was expecting here when you talk about range 2, You'll be talking about the second number, which generally would be one, but clearly range here means you start from that very digit. Okay. If we use a third input, we create a list that skips numbers. For example, range 292 will give us a list where each number is 2 greater than the previous number. And it goes all the way to 9. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8. Understood. That's quite powerful. We can skip as many numbers as you want. For example, if we will we'll start at 1 and skip in increments of 10 between each number uh, until we get to 99, 1 before 100. Okay, so my range is 1, 110. Print my range will give us 1, 11, 21, 30, 41. Okay. Interesting. Our list stops at 91 because the next number in the sequence behind the range is greater than, than or equal to 100. As let's experiment with the additional range inputs. Okay. Modify the range function that created the range 5, 3, such that it starts at 5, has a difference of 3 between each item, and ends before 15. Before 15, so that's correct. The only change you're making is just changing this to 3. I think, and then you can run that. Okay, we got a check there. That means you got it right. Create a range called range different. Can I copy this? Let me see. Control copy. I don't know if it will work. Create a range called range difference 5. Yeah, it works. That starts at 0 is equals to range starts at zero uh, has a difference between five and ends before 40. so before 40 means 40 is the number you put there uh, difference is five okay so let's run that i think that will be right correct then uh, that's it okay let's go to the next one 
Okay. Often we'll need to find the number of items in a list. Uh, usually called its length. We can do this in a built-in function called len. Len is a function as well with the brackets. Then when we apply len to a list, we get the number of elements in that list. My list is equals to one, two, three, four, five. So if I print len my list would output the number of number five. Okay. So print can have parameters interesting. Let's find the length of various lists. Okay. Calculate the length of long list and save it to the variable long list length. Okay, so let's create this long list. This is a copy that a code below here. Control V, that's the variable we're creating, and print the parameter will be length width. Something I need to check. Yeah, length okay is correct. So it's going to be length and the long list. Let me check if I'm right. So I'm creating a variable called long list length and um, I'm calculating the length of long list and saving it to that variable. So what, what, wait, no, 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 this is printing. I don't need to print it. I just need to calculate it. Okay. So length dot long list is uh, counting all these items in this long list. And then I'm assigning it to long list. I think that should be fine. Let's run that. Very good. <clears throat> okay. Use print to examine uh, long list. Uh, then, okay. So let's just copy this. Because it's just a lot of typing. Print. Uh, post it there. Run. It should give us a number. Let me just check. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 18. Let's run that and see. Yep, the console there we have the number 18, which is what I'm expecting. Very nice. Okay. Because, okay, we have provided a complete range function for the variable. We have provided a completed range function for the variable big range okay so big range um, is um, a variable that is um, creating a range starting from 2 to 2999 and it's skipping by 10 that's quite something so let's just see that's about uh, 2997 divided by 10 2,997 divided by 10, we'll have about 299 items, okay. <coughs> Calculate uh, its length using the function len and save it to a variable called big range length, okay, fine. So let's calculate it, same way, copy that and uh, paste it. And this variable, we're giving it this length of big range. Okay, that should work. Yep, we got that right. Now let's print, let's do, let's print big range length as instructed there. And that should give us uh, 299, I'm suspecting something like that. Oh, it's 300. Hmm. Maybe I missed one value. It's okay. Maybe the first. Well, okay. About 299, 300. But that's what I was expecting there about. Okay. Change the range function that generates big range so that it skips 100 instead of 10. Okay. That's easy. Just add a zero. And then let's run that. Get a nice beautiful tick. And that's the end of that. Okay, next. Slicing lists. In Python, often we want to extract only a portion of a list. Dividing a list in such a manner is referred to as slicing. Let's assume you have a list of letters, letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, if they added an H, they would have had all the first and So these are seven. Suppose you want to select 
from B through F, meaning we're leaving the first two. We can do this using the following syntax, letters, letters is a variable, uh -huh. then we have this square brackets, start and where, start is the index of the first element that we want to include in our selection, in this case we want to start at B which is index 1, now this change again, and end at index minus 1, um, so that's index 5, but that's also minus index 1. I don't know whether that's going to work. So you can index indices. Uh, the first letter on a list would be the first item on a list is given the index zero, all the way to the last one, and the last item is given index minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven. So in this case, index zero and index minus seven is the same thing. And is the index of one more than the last index that you want to include. So end is the index of one more than the last index that you want to include. The last element you want to include is F, which has index five. So end needs to be six, understood. Why is it, why, why is that necessary? Why should it be that complicated? I'm not sure, but it's fine. We'll dot put BCD, okay. Notice that the element and index x is g is not in the selection. Very nice. Use print to examine the variable uh, beginning. Okay. Before hitting run, think about what elements beginning will contain. I don't understand. Beginning is equal to suitcase zero. To four. Ah, okay. So suitcase. This is a slice function, and uh, suitcase is a list, and beginning is going to slice suitcase to items from index zero to index three. So that will be zero, one, two, three. So have shut, shut, pants, pants. Two shots to pants. Pajamas and books will be out. So let's do that. Print uh, beginning. Let's run. Shut, shut, pants, pants. Very good. Uh, modify beginning so that it selects the first two elements of suitcase. First two only. Okay, so that will be zero, one, and then we have to uh, take the index after where we want to stop. So let's run that. Shut, shut. Nice, beautiful tick. Okay. Create a new list called middle that contains two items, pants, middle is our new variable name it's a list and it's going to have suitcase and we give it the square bra sorry square no there's a curly's square brackets and we are going to give it that contains two items pants pants so pants will be it will be starting at index zero one two and it will be ending at three, four. It will be ending at three, so we have to give it four. All right. Then we are supposed to print middle. Print middle. I think we'll get a nice, beautiful green pick. Very good. All right. So. Please complete all tasks to continue, all right? Slicing this, okay. Slicing things syntax in Python is very flexible. Let's look at a few more problems that we can tackle by slicing. Take the list fruits as an example. So we have fruits, apple, cherry, pineapple, orange, mango. If you want to select the first n elements of a list, we could use the following. Mm -hmm. So we just leave the first parameter blank and do n, okay? For a fruit list, suppose you wanted to slice 
first three elements will be colon three. The following code would start slicing from index zero and up to index three. Note that the fruit index three orange is not included in the result, partly because it's interesting. Zero, the zero, one, two, three. Okay, makes sense. We set as zero. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Note that the fruit at index three, orange is not included in the results. Okay, print would output apple cherry pineapple. We can do something similar when we want to slice the last um, n elements in a list. So we do minus n colon. Mm -hmm. For a fruit slice list, suppose you wanted to slice the last two elements. I think I'll have to redo the whole course again just to be sure that I remember everything because there are some things that I'll forget over time. For a fruit list, suppose you wanted to slice the last two elements. This code Mm, slices from the next from the element index two up to up through the last index for our first list suppose this code slices from the element at index minus two up through the last index so this one doesn't skip okay minus two will be um, okay, what was on fruits? Let's see that again. Orange mango, okay, fine. Would that put on mango? Negative indices can also accomplish taking all but n last elements of a list. For our fruits, for example, suppose you wanted to slice all but the last element from the list. Um, this example starts counting from the zero index up to this one, okay. We don't put that. Let's practice, okay. So let's just go through those instructions again. The equator number. So, if you want to select the first n elements, um, okay, colon n. If you want to select the last number of elements, minus n colon okay you wanted to slice the last two elements mm -hmm. all but colon minus something all but Okay, create a new list called last two elements containing the front elements of suitcase. Okay, code below, control V, assign that to um, suitcase. What we're looking for is you want to have the last two elements of this. Give it minus two and a colon. All right, let's do. Okay, this is a little bit. I'm not sure I remembered everything correctly. So let's see. I got it right. So minus two colon will print the last two elements. Okay, I do the backing quite a bit. Let me just check what's going on. has been okay so the last two elements so minus two great create a new list called slice off 
the last three. So you can already tell us it's gonna ask us to do. Control V that. Mm. Containing all but the last three elements is equals to suitcase. Mm. Give it curly brackets and it's going to be colon minus three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. That should do it. And then let's print uh, control V. That should do it. Very good. So okay. Very nice. Okay. Counting in a list. In Python it's common to want to count occurrences of an item in a list. Suppose we have a list called letters that represents the letters in the word Mississippi. Okay. So Mississippi has four S's, two P's, three I's, one M. Okay. If you want to know how many times I appears in the word, we could use the list method called dot count. So num i is a variable is equals to letters, letters is a list, dot count, and what we're counting the parameter is i, which is a string. So print num i would output four. One, two, three, oh I missed. I is a four times not okay, fine. Not four, okay. Notice that dot count returns a value. We can sign it to a variable to use it, okay. We can even use count to count element appearance in two dimensional lists. Let's use the list number collection as an example. It's a 2D list because it has many parameters. It has lists within the list. So, okay. If you wanted to know how often sublist 100, 200 appears, num pairs is equals to number collection dot count and what we're counting is that, and when you print out, that's gonna give us, okay, makes sense. Let's count some list items using count method. Mr. Wilson's class is voting for class president. She has saved each student's vote into the list votes. Okay. Use count to determine how many students voted for Jack and save the value to a variable called jack votes so what you want to do first is create jack votes oh, the high from the oh, it's the actually just can see it okay uh, assign it is equals to uh, votes dot count give it the parameter which is a string called jack capital j run Beautiful green tick, that's what I was expecting. Nice. Use print to examine check votes. So let's print. Oh, check votes is small. But it's okay. So let's run that. The nine. The nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's correct. And a nice blue tick, a nice green tick. Is it blue, green, screen? Okay, sorting lists. Often you want to sort a list in either numerical, one, two, three, alphabetical, ABC order. We can sort a list using the method sort. Suppose that we have a list of names Zander, Buffy, Angel, my wife, Willow, and Jill, so Giles, Jill's, Giles, Jill's, Giles, Giles, whatever. Let's see what happens when you apply dot sort. Um, hmm. So, names.sort print names it will sort them angel buffy jills willow zander as we can see the dot sort method sort dot our list on alphabetical order okay also provides the option to go in reverse instead of ascending order like we just saw we can do so in descending order so names.sort reverse is equals to true print names okay that's fine 
The sort method does not return any value, thus does not need to be assigned to a variable uh, since it modifies the list directly. If you do assign the result of a method, it would assign the value of none to the variable. Let's experiment uh, sorting various lists. Use sort to sort addresses. Hmm. Okay. Addresses. Have I spelled it right? Dot sort. I think that should just run. Okay. Use print to see how addresses change. Addresses. Ten Downing Street, twelve Grimo Palace, sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue, two twenty one Baker Street, forty two Wallaby Way, seven forty two Evergreen. Downing Street, that's where the Prime Minister is. Grimo Place, um, assuming that's French, six hundred Pennsylvania, that's the White House, I believe. Two twenty one Baker Street, I'm not sure what that is. The rest I'm not well fast talking, okay, but they're sorted. They are sorted, pun intended. Remove the hash and white space in front of the line sort names. Mm -hmm. Remove the hash and white space in front of the line, sort names. Ah. Names.sort. Okay. Use print to examine sorted cities. Why why is it not sorted? The sorted version of cities. This Print sorted cities. Okay, first list. Um, let's remove these addresses. Let's, uh, if you do a hash in front of it, it won't print. Let's run that again. So you just have a look. Value. Ah. Sorted cities is equals to cities dot sort. We are assigning a value okay so cities also doesn't return a value and we are giving it to the variable as sorted cities edit the sort call on cities such that it sorts the cities in reverse order edit the sort Is it reverse is equals to true or something? Let's just check. True normally by capital T. Just confirm that I think I'm missing something up here. 
Mm. Reverse is equal to okay. So cities. Okay. Uh, still, we on sorted cities is equal to that. Let's run it. It gave us a none. Okay. So value is none. But I also want to run print cities. Let's see. Let's remove that. Line of code. Then print cities. Yep. Rome, Paris, New York, Los Angeles, and London. Los Angeles. Los Angeles and London. Great. I already got my tick. So I'm going to go to the next one. Okay. Sorting list two. A second way of sorting list in Python is to use the built-in function sorted. Okay, the sorted function is different from sort method in two ways. It comes before a list instead of after, as all built-in functions do. Okay. It generates a new list rather than modify the one that already exists. Let's return it to a list of names. Zander Buffy Angel Willow. Using sorted we can new list called sorted names. So sorted names is equal to sorted names. Okay. Print sorted names. This yields the list sorted alphabetically. Not that using sorted not change names. Print names would not put the previous one. Okay. Using sorted order names, order games, and create a new list called games sorted. Games sorted. Um, hmm. is equals to sorted games. That should work now. Yep. Print both games and sorted games. Are they different? Print games print sorted games let's run both i'm expecting oh we made a mistake okay portal minecraft pacman tetris the sims pokemon so everything till Trace back most recent call line, file script P line, name error, sorted games is not defined. Oh, it's not it's game sorted, not sorted games. Yep, okay. Sorted, so name error, okay, fine. Let's run that. Yeah, that's fine. So game sorted is, yeah, that's sorted, okay, fine. Next. Review the lesson. In this lesson, we learn how to add elements to an index. Oh, in this lesson, we learned how to add elements to a list by using the insert method, remove elements from a list using the pop method, generate a list using the range function, get the length of a list using the length function, select portions of a list using the slicing syntax, count the number of times that an element is appearing in using the count method, sort a list using sort and sorted. As you go through the exercises, feel free to use the print stitching user when not expertly asked to do so. Okay. Our friend Jiho has been so successful in the flying grocery business that he decided to open a furniture store. Jiho has compiled a list of inventory items into a list called inventory and wants to know a few facts about it. First, how many items are in the warehouse? Save the variable, save the answer to the variable called. Okay, let's see. Um, inventory. Is equals to. Is equals to inventory dot len give it a parameter there 
then I want to print print inventory len. inventory len okay let's run that is inventory Let's try that okay all right select the first element in inventory save it to a variable called first that should be the pop select the first element in inventory and save it to a variable called first. Yeah, these are the things I learned yesterday. I just I know it's pop, but I'm not sure whether first is equals to inventory dot pop and we're going to give it index zero. We're going to print fast so that we are sure it's running well. Green, yes, to embed, works perfectly. All right, so select the last element from the inventory, save it will call last, gonna use minus one. Hmm. I could just have copied inventory dot pop and this time we give it a minus one index and then we're going to print last oh this is not fast this is last now not fast then we're going to print last and we run that should get Nice stick, great. Okay, select items from the inventory starting at index two, up to, but not including indexes. Six, save your answer to a variable called uh, inventory two to six. Okay, inventory two to six is equals to, hmm, a slice I do slice I think we slice using inventory uh, we do that and we do two colon six and we can also print inventory to to six hmm it will not give us what I want we do list okay let's run it hmm Queen bed, king bed, dresser, dresser. Okay, so inventory to six as queen bed, king bed, dresser, dresser. Starting from index two. Uh -huh, to six, okay. The problem with this thing is that it doesn't pick index. Index two, I think, is number three. Let's run that again and see. Let's 
just them getting a mistake somewhere. I'm not sure if we'll come back and see. Let's see what's so twin bed, twin bed. Okay. Select items from the list starting at index two. Index two is twin bed. No, zero one two. Index two is headboard. Okay. Headboard. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why does it want five? I don't understand. Index six is what? Wait, wait, wait. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not including that. I don't understand why it wants me to have this at five. That doesn't make sense. This will be right now, but I'm not sure why. Wait a minute, let me try and figure this out. Okay, so I have inventory. We want to print, okay, so this particular, uh, can I say slice thing, will read one, like instead of Index two, you take it to down one. That's clear. I think that one we already saw. Uh, but then six also. Does that also make sense? It doesn't. Index six. So it's not index six. It's number six. Hmm. Okay. Select the first three items of inventory save it to a variable first three okay first three is equals to um, i think we just do that do a colon and do three give us the first three items i think I didn't add inventory. Okay, run that. One moment, let's do print. Let's run that and see what it has. First, let me first things first. Let me um, remove these other things. Okay, let's run that again. Twin bed. Headboard, queen bed. Okay, 
let's unpop this thing first let's remove this popping thing that we did okay first three is equals to inventory there let's try that yeah crafty like a nonsense so this case i just i think they didn't so we had a bug and the bug is that we had a line here that we'd created this code where we had popped out for inventory popped out the first item so i thought this was correct the correct um, uh, uh, syntax and it was i should have given us but it was giving us like if i run this it's giving me one twin bed headboard and uh, queen bed so let's run that again twin bed headboard queen bed and it doesn't make sense um why okay it's answering the next question so i didn't understand until i remembered that when you do pop it actually removes the zero item from this list as and then you can use it also but it's no longer in the list inventory if you print inventory right now you'll find that it's actually missing two items the first and the last uh okay now since the past uh, last is equals inverse dot pop so let's see let's do that just sorry it's just give again to give us another wrong print sorry and uh, give it these guys inventory oh, let's let's do that sorry print inventory let's run it i've left a space will it work still yeah so it has twin bed headboard and that pillow one pillow not two that's because of these two pop things so what we want to do then is remove this pop the way we're gonna remove it is just to add uh, hashtag behind in front of it and the hashtag is going to make that not work and also so now um yeah give me that hashtag that so let's run that and everything is back dapper for it how many twin bed beds are there in inventory save your answer to every book called twin beds okay so twin beds is equals to inventory dot count and what we're gonna be counting is twin space bed all right that should work very good uh so let's count let's print it sorry let's print that and see print twin beds run it's form okay and then to be having it uh, sorry hashing this uh print functions hash that's nice actually keep some quiet no okay so every time i run a new command that i didn't put before remove the fifth element in the inventory save the value to a variable called removed item hmm. Is that a pop? Should be remove fifth element in the inventory. Zero, one, two, three, four. Let's see. Removed item is equals to inventory dot pop and we're going to remove the fifth item then we're gonna do something called print removed item then we run it this one i'm guessing 
it worked one two three four five okay it works perfectly there was a new item added to the inventory called 19th century bed frame this i'll copy because it's way too long let's copy it use the insert method to place the new item as the 11th item in the inventory so inventory dot insert and what we're going to do is number 10 do give it the parameter that's being inserted uh, my battery is over hope this works I set it down to charge, I think I can. Yeah. Okay, that's also out. All right. This number two, right? Surprisingly, he had some charge, I think. Yeah, quite surprising, he had some charge. All right. Okay, let's see. Inventory dot insert position ten. Let's do that, and then let's do. print inventory okay the only thing is give me a tick guys oh it's already ticked okay very nice tenth item all right sort inventory using the dot sort method or the sorted function and doesn't return a parameter print inventory but let us first hash these other guys here not that one to hash this one hash that guy hash that guy and hash that guy Let's see Okay, 19th century bed, dresser, dresser, headboard, king, bed, king, bed, next one. All right, I'm expecting a reverse sort. It's not given, but we're gonna reverse sort it anyway. Inventory dot sort reversed. Reverse is equals to true. Uh, then we're gonna print inventory. Control copy that, enter it, copy it, paste it, hash that guy, and run. Yes, that's done. Up next, nice work. Great job finishing that lesson. Keep going. We have a quiz. Hope I'll remember. It's been a very long one, spanning two days. Um, which of the following code selects the last three elements of my list? This is excluding, it's this one. X, that's a bit, okay. 
which list would be created by running this code. Okay, so starts at 2, ends at 14, 4 in between. So 2, 6, 10, 14. Ah, stops before 14. Goodness gracious. Which of the following lines of code will correctly sort my lists? Which of the following lines of code will tell us how many times win appears in the list game results? Which of the following lines of code will slice the list B, C from my list? Yeah, so this is one that I've not very well understood. So this is uh, zero one. not really understood this. The element b has index 1 because python is 0 indexed and the element c has index 2. This code selects starting at index 1 and up to but not including index 2 so it wouldn't include This, this I you notice I struggle with this because I'm not sure which one is. I understand the, the method, but I don't understand where, where it's counting from. The element B has index 1, that's correct. Uh, and the element C has index 2, this is correct. This code selects starting at index 1. Okay. And up to, but not including, index 2. So it wouldn't include C. All right, so it's one, three, fine. Which of the following would create a range object that starts at three and goes up to 15, non-inclusive, in increments of four? So the last item is a four. 3, 15, that's the easiest of all these questions you've had today. Which of the following would be generated by the code snippet? My list is equals to A, B, E, F, okay. Print my list, taking at index 2, which is C. To index four zero one two CDE. If I got the other one wrong, then this should be right. Still not understood which fully. Which of the following commands will return the length of my list? My list Fairly easy. Ah. Which of the following? Oh, it's let me. I got this wrong actually last time. Which of the following lines of code will insert gas at the middle element on the list of friends? So one, two, three, four. Okay, and that will be zero, one, two, position two, gas. Friends dot insert. Minus three gas. This this is one oh. minus one, minus two, minus three. Which of the following 
lines of cord will insert gas as the middle element of the list of friends. So, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three. Why? Why would that be? This would put gas at minus 4, no? Hmm. Complete this code to insert buffalo into a list called animals as the fourth element. Filling the code that will allow us to remove the fifth element from the list. Pizza toppings is equals to one, two, one, two, three, four, five mushroom, which is zero, one, two, three, four. Filling the code that allows to remove the fifth element. Pizza toppings dot pop number four. terrible really which of the following lines of code would remove break dancing from the list olympic sports would remove break dancing from the list of sports olympic sports dot pop break dancing that should work olympic sports dot pop minus two olympic sports dot pop it should work like maybe if i'm lucky it's like a Olympic sports dot pop. Oh, it's a uh, dot pop. This is the one. Remove the last item. Retake that quiz. That's really poor. Which of the following code selects the last three elements of my list? Oh, um, um, oh it's minus three. Come on. It's quite late maybe. Which list would you would be created by running this code? So the last time the thing is that 14 is excluded. Start from 2, but don't include 14. So it will be 2 plus 4 is 6. 10, 2, 6, 10. This one. Which of the following lines of code will correctly sort my list? My list dot sort. Of the following lines of code will tell us how many times win appears in the game results. Game results dot count and you're counting win. Which of the following lines of code will slice the list BC from my list? Okay. So it's my list. Square brackets. Index one. Index two, this should be it. No, but it's it's a colon. It's not a colon. Is it a colon or is it it's this? Three, one, three, one, three. This is a hey, come on. Which of the following would create a range object that starts at three and goes up to fifteen and inclusive in the element? increments of four. Only one has increments of four, so there's no discussion there. Which of the following would be generated by the code snippets? My list. Which of the following would be generated by the code snippet? My list. One, two, three, four. You will print number One, two, 
honestly is it index 2 0 1 2 3 4 CDE this is still give okay, the following commands we return length of my list its length my list as a parameter which of the following lengths of code will insert guest as a middle element of the list of friends so the last time I thought that what you want to do is to insert it at the minus three position minus one minus two minus three but for some reason it is saying that the insertion will happen here when you do minus two so that's pretty insane but that's the number complete the code to insert buffalo into a list called animals it's animals dot insert um, at the fourth element that will be three wait and we add buffalo mm -hmm. fill the code that will allow us to remove the fifth element from the following list one two three mushroom zero one two three four okay so these are toppings Let pop number four should work Which of the following lines of code will remove breakdancing from the list of Olympic sports? I think the last time I did this, but I forgot that we are supposed to use brackets, not this funny square things. And again, this also removes the last item on a list. If you just do pop without, there's no way I'm getting. Okay, which of the following code selects the last three elements of my list? So let's just go through this again and just understand what each of these ones mean my list will this not start counting from minus 3 to minus 2 then come to minus 1 or something okay that doesn't sound right okay Select the last three elements. When you start with the colon, the last three are out of the list. Minus three, colon, those are the first things like you select the first three. My list, the last three. Okay, so I think I'm beginning to understand it a little bit better. So this will select the first three items, this will select the last three items. This will select everything except the last three. I think and if you did colon and then there's a number thereafter you can select that number of things in the list we can use negative indices to count backwards from the last element in the list all right which list would be created by running this code list range two up to 13 in increments of 4 so 2 6 10 okay which of the following lines of code will correctly sort my lists my list would sort okay which of the following lines of code will tell us how many times win appears in the list that's a count function uh, so game results dot count and what you're counting is win Which of the following lines of code will slice the list BC from my list? This is another one that's giving me a bit of trouble because we are saying that um, this is a list called my list and uh, it's a slice. And when you're slicing, you use a colon, that's the first thing. And when you're using the colon, not a comma for syntax, uh, you count index one up to the in index after the Oh, you want to stop so i want to stop b is index one c in this x2 so i should do one two three which of the following would create a range that starts at three that's the first item goes up to 15 not inclusive so 315 
in increments of four. So that's this one. Which of the following would be generated by the code snippet? Th that's my list. If you print my list and you're printing index two up to index four. So zero, one, two, three, four, CDE. This one. Which of the following commands will return the length of my lists? So I just remember that len, my list being the parameter, which is this. Which of the following lines of code will insert goose or gas as the middle element of the list of friends? So this I'm just remembering from memory because a middle element means that it should come here. My first line of thinking was it will be minus one, minus two, minus three. But I was told, no, it's not minus three. You do minus two. Friends dot insert minus two, which is strange. Complete the, uh, the code to insert buffalo into the list called animals. So we're doing animals dot insert. And uh, as a fourth element, fourth element means that it's uh, index three. Index three. And what we're inserting is buffalo. So that should be fine. Then uh, let's see. Fill in the code that would allow us to remove the fifth element from the following list. Pizza toppings is equals to fifth element that is like number four. So pizza toppings dot pop number four because it's zero to four. Okay. Not yet. Which of the following lines of code would remove breakdancing from the Olympics? But this is just memory now. So I've done it so many times, but I also know where I got it wrong the first time this was supposed to be brackets. So that also works. Okay, now let's practice the concepts a little bit because there's something I, I didn't quite get right. Okay, list.append. Mm. In Python, you can add values to the end of a list uh, using the append method okay orders is equal to daisy orders that append tulips will add tulips very nice negative indices okay soups is equal to menstrual lentil photo laxa soups minus one Select the last element, my list, minus one to look three elements, my list three before the column. Select everything I like except the last two. Before the column is what is included, but if it's after the column is what is excluded, okay? That's fine. List method insert. Okay, I think insert. Okay, the Python allows us to add an element to speak points. It takes two inputs, the index you want to insert into, the element you want to insert at a specific point. Okay, so we want to insert v quad position two, so color v This is the part of zero, one, two, yeah, okay, that's, that's quite clear. But then the negative side of it is probably where we're having a problem accessing to the list. Um, to the list of people heights, so the blah, blah, blah. Access the sublist at index zero, then access the first index of that sublist. Okay, noise height is equals to heights. First sublist is index zero, index one. Okay, not put in order to access to the list and index for the sublist and index for them both need to provide from what this is that. Okay, uh, remove, um, create a list. Yeah, if we remove just the name, it will remove the first item first instance of that understood. The remove method is used to remove an element from a list by passing 
in the value of the element to be removed. In the case where two more elements the list have the same value, the first. Okay. All right. Next. What is this? Toph has been captured, but she discovers a new secret ability. Toph has been captured, but she discovers a new secret ability. Add metal bending to a list of special skills by accessing the appropriate key. Okay, so TOF is a variable. I've not had a chance to work with curly braces. I'm not sure why I have that. But I want to believe that we can add Tough special skills dot append metal bending and that should work. Yep, bit tricky, but I think it worked. Which of the following code selects the last three elements of my list? So I've got a very easy way to remember that. that Everything before the colon is included, after the colon is excluded, that's not entirely true because you can have to the nth number. So, but uh, the last three elements is minus three. Given a list of colors, red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet, how would you insert green so that it comes after yellow and before blue? So that will be zero, one, Two, three. Okay. Give me, let's see. Oh, I can print it here. Sorry. Colors dot insert, and we give it two parameters. First is where it's going. Is it three or four? Zero, one, two, three. Okay, give it three. And the second parameter is green, single green. That should work. Let's print it actually. Print colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, that is. Next, given a 2D list, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, how would you print six using its index? Index, so you do print my list and you're printing from um, index one item and you're printing the item that is on index zero one two that's correct this should work let's check the syntax print my list yeah. 
okay given a list my list is equals to Paris New York San Francisco those sounds how do you remove New York from the list mm -hmm. my list dot remove and what we are removing is New York wait a minute And let's remove New York. Okay, let's continue. Oh, that was harder than I expected, uh, but 26%. It's uh, almost three in the morning. I've been doing this for well over an hour and i still want to continue one and a half hours in the night problem is i don't know how much i'll remember lens slice you work at lens slice a new pizza joint in the neighborhood you're going to use your knowledge of python list to organize some of your sales data it's a project okay fine make some pizzas to keep track of the kinds of pizzas you sell, create a list called toppings and add that holds the following um, items. Write your toppings is equals to make it a list and you're just going to add these things. I don't know. Well, give me a right hand, I haven't even fixed it. Pepperoni, create a space. Pineapple. Cheese. Okay, I think I'm exhausted. This is the last thing I'm doing. Control copy. Should be asleep now. Salt here. Uh, sleeping is good for you and your performance. Olives. Ancovis. What are ancovis by the way? I really don't know what those are. I've heard of them probably, but I genuinely have no clue. Probably it's an embarrassing thing to say, but I honestly just don't know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Control copy that and paste it. All right. So, pepperoni, pineapple, cheese, sausages, olives, anchovies, and mushrooms. Right. So let's save it. Give me a tick, guys. Okay, let's save that. Oh, I have to I'm done max it complete. Okay. Remember that. All right, fair enough. To keep track of how much each kind of pizza slice costs. Create a list called prizes that holds the following integer values. Okay, prizes is equals to two, six, one, three, two, seven. Your boss wants you to do some research on two bob slices. 
count the number of occurrences of two in the price list and store the result in a variable called num two dollar slices. Copy that. V is equals to prices dot count. What we are counting is two. But we also want to do print so that we can just check that we are not forgetting something. Save. Yep, one, two, three. So it went well. And I'm gonna hash it now because it's not part of the formula. All right. Find the length of toppings list and store it in a variable called num pizzas. I'm even typing slowly. Pizzas is equals to len of toppings and we're going to print num pieces save it seven one two three seven Print the string we sell, num pizzas, different kinds of pizza, where num pizzas present the value of the variable there. Okay, no problem. So let's first hash this. Oh, sorry, I just to come here. Print. We sell student num pieces Hope that does it. Okay, but the spaces are too much. I think there is a definite space when you put the commas in. So let's save that. Okay, still works. We print seven different kinds of pizza. There it is. All right. Mm, use the existing data about the pizza toppings and prices to create a new two-dimensional list called pizza and prices. Uh, each sublist in pizza should have one pizza topping and the associated price. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this. I don't want to type it. And I'm typing very slowly now. Control V is equals to. Then I also don't want to copy, oh, but I don't have an option. I have a Let's just control copy that, paste it because typing the whole of this is going to be a bit of a mess. And we will do sorry, 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 we'll do that. Delete the first part of it, add two, close it, comma, do that, delete it, add six. Five, six, not five, six. Close it. Next one. Delete that. Mm. Cheese is one. Why is cheese one? Oh, we need to create some space there. Actually, after this. A comma space sausage is three close it 
comma space open delete that add olives is to close it comma space next delete that and cove is very expensive stuff mm -hmm. seven close it comma space new sublist delete the first part and what we're going to do is put a comma there give it the price of mushrooms and that's the end of the list can close it right there then let's just control print control oh no 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 that's not what i meant print pizza rent prices Trace back most recent call file line nine in module pizza prices pepperoni to pineapple. Oh, yeah, there's something pineapple pepperoni to pineapple. There's no comma between these two. Introduce the comma right there. Let's see that again. Yep, that was a pro problem. Okay, we sell seven different kinds of pizzas. Pepperoni is two bob, pineapple is six, cheese is one, sausage is three, olives is two, and coffee is seven, mushrooms two. Why do we have yeah we have two, that's okay. That's fine. For this new list, uh, make sure the prices come before the topping name like so. Oh. Okay. So let's go back. To six. and two let's save it to be sure you're still fine yeah we good print p's and prices does it look the you expect already done sorting ones and slicing pizza sort pizza prices so that the pizzas are in order of increasing price ascending okay pizza and prices dot sort number 10 so one two 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 everything is well sorted to pineapple and uncove is very nice so I'll store the first element of pizza and prizes in a variable called cheapest pizza gonna pop it P 
pizza is equals to me popping is control copy is that when I pop it it leaves the list but let's see line 14 is okay a man walks into the pizza store and shouts I will have your most expensive pizza get the last item of the pizza and prices list and store it in a variable called priciest pizza hmm we have popped it. I don't think so. Let's see. Let's try something different. Cheapest pizza. Let's do this. that fast and see how oh, it works actually okay and I think if I do print so what I've just done is the first formula I did it was uh, giving me Was removing this if I do pop for example um, then it removes the cheese you'll not see it in that list let me just do that again so you can see prizes dot pop and you do zero you'll see cheese will disappear from that list yeah, it's gone but I don't think that was instruction so what I wanted to just do is change this is equals to pizza and prices and just count everything on it that goes everything the first item basically so let's see yeah and cheese is back okay so let's now remove this print hash them hash them someone wants our most expensive pizza it's already well sorted and we have our priciest pizza pizza is equals to pizza and prices control copy control v and i think we're going to count everything from behind I want to check whether I got this wrong the quiz many times, but I want to believe that now I've understood it. And when we print, print, craziest pizza, we should get really anchovies. Why am I still printing this? We sell different kinds of pizzas. Let me hash it. Yep. And Corvus, there we go. That's correct. It looks like the most expensive pizza from the previous step was a very last Ancovis slice. Remove it from a pizza and prizes list since the man bought the last slice. 
Okay, so we want to remove it. Um, we'll do P's and prizes. Prizes dot remove. And what we are removing is a list called seven and a string and covers. I don't know that I need to leave a space. I think I don't save. So we'll just also print. There is no longer Ancovis pizza. You want a new topping called peppers to keep your customer new toppings. Here is what your new toppings will look like. Add the new pizza topping to our list. Pizza and prizes. So we want to add it relative to the sorted data. So we are going to have pizza and prizes. I should have dot append. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, we are appending it to pizza dot prizes. And what we are appending is a list which we can no, 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 it's not append, it's insert. Because what you want to do is to insert. Takes two parameters. The first is the index, and the second is what we are appending. Okay. And what I can't remember is the using a colon or a hyphen or a, or a comma. We'll try and see. So, um, 2.5, 2 pepperoni, comes of pepperoni, so 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll be at 4, and what we're inserting is something called 2.5 the string called peppers let's give it a go yeah okay list cannot be interpreted as an integer okay so what we want to do is remove this square braces Okay, so let's cut this and put it here after, print it after. Okay, it looks like a charm. So uh, cheese, mushrooms, olives, pepperoni, peppers, sausage, and pineapple, and it is actually well sorted by price okay three mice three mice walk into the store really god academy guys so this is another nice one so it's late but you get to laugh a little bit okay three mice walk into the store they don't have much money of course but they do each want different pizzas slice the pizza and prizes list and store the three lowest cost pizzas in a list called Three cheapest. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm clearly tired because this is something I should just run through my mind immediately. Slice the pizza and, and store in the three lowest cost pizzas in a list. Okay, so there is one of the things about code academy is when you start, you get a hint here. So let's see. Let's get a small hint. To get the first n items of a list, use list. Mm, very nice. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. Like something I've even used before in this code. Three mice walk into the store. They don't have much money, but they do want different pieces. Slice pizza and prizes list and store the three lowest cost pizza in a list called three cheapest. I am tired now. Okay, three cheapest. Three cheapest. Let me just copy this. I don't have to type it again. Copy that is equals to uh, pizza and prizes Just cover that for a moment. Okay, now let's just compare. Cheese, mushrooms, olives. God nailed it. It's the last item. Okay, great job. The mice are very pleased, and will be leave, giving you. The, will be leaving you with a five-star review. Print the three cheapest list. Hmm? Done that already. Save that. Oof. Great job finishing that project. Keep going, but not today. I'll come to it. To okay later today. Actually today it's three. I think I've been at this for slightly over two hours. I suspect. Let me just check. No, not two hours, just under two hours. But given that I'm studying in the middle of the night, I think that's a fairly uh, good shift. So guys, uh, just encouraging you to pick up programming. If you're a young person in Kenya today, AI, stuff like that. I'm an old man now. If I had the same resources when I was straight out of high school, because after high school, believe it or not, between um, the high school I went to and... Um, uh, medical school, I was at out. So if in that time I wasn't at out of studying programming, who knows, my life would be different. But of course, I also don't uh, say much because I'm quite content and happy. I think if uh, all those things are folks in the road, I believe my life took the part it did and I'm quite privileged to be where I am today. I think uh, you, those things of what if, what if, you assume they'll all be good, but not necessarily. For instance, I want to believe that I would be my last, my beautiful girls. This is what my life was meant to be. And I'm quite content about it. God's grace and favor. See you guys. Uh, keep uh, keep um, at it. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, in case you would like to follow us, support us on the channel, we do a lot of chess and... Uh, yeah, this was, uh, this is a break. I'll take this until such a time that I have completed the course. I'm quite committed to it. Actually, let's just look together and see um, what it shows. One moment. Can you guys see that? Let me see. Yes, you can. Okay. It's so to check and see just how far I've gone in the course. Uh, back to syllabus. I was at 21%, 23% start of this program. 
now I'm at 28 percent so I've just done five percent more okay and I have a video to learn and then combining lists the zip function and then I can go to the next thing which will be loops I think loop sounds interesting I have an idea what this is we discuss a little bit in control flow there'll be functions code challenges which is optional data articles strings modules dictionaries files classes another second then an article let's see by uh, is by the correct word one moment just hold on for something very simple which is our outro cheers <laughs>